Hello YouTubers, this is Michael Smathers' channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you an experiment I did yesterday and came up with some faulty uh, connections, but a mistake that led me to explore some interesting phenomena that I have uh, now looked into some more. So what we're going to be doing is mm, using a rodent coil and a bowl-shaped uh, trifiler coil. One thing about these rodent coils I did early on was that I did a normal winding on the inside of these uh, rodent coils. Each uh, torus has 300 windings of about 24 gauge um, copper wire, magnet wire, on the inside, and you can't see that. I'm going to bring you over here. This is my setup. Wires are all jumbled, and um, I just uh, finished completing a uh, reading, pretty anomalous, and found out that the bowl-shaped magnetic fields have uh, an, a definite coupling effect and an increase on the voltage on AC signal. So what I've got here, I've got that internal number 24 magnet wire being uh, powered by a power supply and the power supply is it's a 12 volt, 12 and a half volt power supply AC signal 2.5 amps and I've got a resistor I think it's a 150 ohm resistor so it doesn't get the, the full brunt of that okay so uh, let me plug this in and good for experimentation let me set up the camera here hopefully that'll catch everything. I think it will, if I'm lucky. Let me turn off the light here to see where we're at. That should work. Alright. So, um, turning on the voltage, you'll be able to see that, um, Okay, it's a zero now. I'm plugging it in now, and you're reading um, about two tenths of a uh, two hundredths of a volt. So let me explain what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show that. By using, um, well, first of all, let's let me explain what's happening right now. Let's see, I've got four more minutes. Um, the internal 300 wound um, magnet wire inside the rodent coil is um, being being charged by that AC power signal right now. Not charged it's powering right now and what you're reading here on the meter is a parallel connection between the rodent wires and the parallel connection between those and the trifiler um, coils of the bowl shaped pancake coil that I've got those are connected in parallel this is what you're reading now so I'm going to use this strong neodymium magnet and I'll attach it to this bowl which is also part on the inside of the trifiler pancake bowl shaped coil. So there's one of these inverted underneath just under um, the rodent coil. That's what you can't see. So what you have is 
actually two bowl-shaped pancake pancake coils uh, on the center. There's one underneath the rodent coil, and then the one you're seeing underneath holding everything in. So keep your eye on this as I put the uh, the magnet and the coil. The uh, you can start seeing it go up and it'll go up to about 30. And interesting is uh, the larger the steel bowl you have attached to the magnet, the larger that surface area coupling with the, um, the coils that uh, are being powered, the larger your voltage will be. Should reach 33. Oh, hit 35 this time. So, uh, see if that resonant effect will happen. Apparently not. Um, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, there's more detail I want to go into as far as what I've been doing um, experimentally. Um, for sake of the time of the video, I have a minute and 20 seconds. Thanks, YouTube. Um, so, I've been doing some interesting things here and a lot of mistakes, but I found those mistakes have led me to explore other areas of why um, I can couple bull-shaped magnetic fields and get um, various parasitic um, uh, coupling of magnetic fields and voltage increase. Um, also, yesterday I found that by connecting um, one of the uh, power source to one of the wires, not even having the other wire connected um, as a circuit, I found that I can, um, how do you describe, uh, cause voltage on the pickup coils, and um, how do you do that? I don't know, but it happens. And that's what I downloaded or uploaded to YouTube yesterday. And I took that off because it was full of incorrect, um, uh, misleading information. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have the thing set up right. That's the timer. I need to shut it off. Until next time, YouTube.